Hello, fifth grade saxophone players, specifically alto. I'll put a separate video on here for tenor saxes because they use some slightly different notes. So alto saxophone players, we're going to go through some Hataru Koi. I just want to explain a couple of quick things before I play through it, and you can play along with me. Um, the first thing is, remember this song is pretty simple. It has four notes, OK? We need C, middle finger, right? We have our lovely Ds, all six fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus our thumb. Easy peasy, right? And G's, one, two, three. So mostly really easy notes. There's just one weird thing about Hataru Koi. You'll notice there are these random notes and it looks like they have a little, little letter B in front of them. Those are those flat signs, remember? Okay, so we have B flat in the song. So it's a B, one, two, three, the third line up, every good boy. But the thing is, is that B always has a flat in this song. So it's not B first finger, it's different, okay? B flat is gonna be played this version, there's a couple different ways to play B flat, but this one I would recommend, use your two fingers like an A, not like a B, like an A, right? Like an A, and then on the side of your saxophone, we actually have things called side keys. That's what these little dudes on the side are that a lot of us bumped when we first started. That bottom side key, I'm actually gonna use the side of my hand, thus side key, right, okay? Use the side of my hand plus those two fingers. That's going to give us our B flat. So one, two, side key. I'm going to stand up for a second so you can see my hands. So one, two, bottom side key. So if you have your saxophone out, go ahead and try to play that with me. I'll do that one more time. One, two, bottom side key. If you notice, it sounds lower than regular B with just my first finger. Okay, it sounds very different. So make sure when you see the B in this song, one, two, bottom side key. Okay, so this is Hataru Koi. I'm gonna play it beginning to end, well, kind of. I'm gonna play beginning to actually the letter B, but that is the whole song because the second half of the song just repeats. So I'm gonna start at the beginning. We'll go to where that big letter B is, where it says percussion interlude, and just see how this goes. Now, because this is a YouTube video, you can change the speed, okay? Down at the bottom of, um, down at the bottom here of your YouTube video, you'll see a thing that says settings. If you click settings and then go to playback speed, you can click 0.75. That'll slow this down. So if you find it a little hard to play the same speed I'm going right now, click 0.75 and you'll be able to definitely play it, okay? So we need our four notes. Here's Hataru Koi. I will count the rest in between. Make sure we don't forget about rest. It's usually the number one thing we like to forget about because we're so worried about notes we forget about not playing, okay? So here's the beginning. We have two measures, ready? One, two, three, four, two, two, three. Here's the C. Rest and rest. Rest and rest. Ready and G. or go back to other things. Obviously, the whole big group band would need to be here to do that, but that is Hatari Koi. Four notes, pretty simple. So, happy practicing. <laughs> 